Good morning, Sharon, and thanks for joining us in this series of Woodruff Health Sciences sure. and Emory Healthcare leaders. Tell us about yourself. Um, how long have you been here? Where did you come from? And then maybe you can slide into what your priorities are here. Oh, happy to do that. And you know, one thing that probably a lot of people don't know is I'm a Georgia native. Oh, I was okay. born at Georgia Baptist Hospital, which turned into Atlanta Medical Center, which is now closed. Oh, dear. And um, I uh, lived about an hour north of Atlanta, up in Cherokee County, and that's where I grew up. And um, I did my undergraduate um, education for nursing at Medical College of Georgia. And then I went to graduate school in Milledgeville at Georgia College. And You're um, clearly a native. I'm clearly a native. And uh, so, you know, I think the exciting thing, though, about being a nurse uh, here at Emory is the fact that I was here at Emory when I realized I wanted to be a nurse. My grandpa lived with us and was a patient here at Emory getting a pacemaker, which was a real wild thing to do right. back in the 70s. And so he got this pacemaker and this woman came in the room uh, when the day he was being discharged and she had on white, 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 you know, nurse, nurse, nurse. And uh, she came in there and said to my grandpa, she says, I want to teach you how to live with that pacemaker. And I thought, I want to be part of a profession that teaches people how to live. Yeah. Um, you know, I went on to Colorado in the early 90s and spent 25 years there. And one of the important things I learned there that has shaped my work here at Emory um, has been the importance of a nurse leader who sets the context for patient care and then allows professional nurses to do their best work. Uh, Sharon, you've been a champion on so many different levels. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost unheard of that we have five MAGNA designations here. I, can, I, I think of MAGNA as sort of the pinnacle of quality and excellence uh, in the nursing world among institutions that deliver care. How did we get five? and? How do we actually keep five, I guess? <laughs> you have to re-earn it every four years. Wow. It's not just a one and done. And so keeping them is an incredibly important thing for Emory Healthcare. Right. But I think it really begins with the incredible group of chief, chief nurses that exist here in Emory Healthcare. Right. They are full of so much passion and commitment, and they believe in the importance of creating the right environment for nurses to practice, for all clinicians to practice. Because what we know about nurses is that in the right work environment, nurses will do great work. Sharon, you often remind me we have 8,000 nurses here at Emory Healthcare. Right. It's a third of our workforce. <clears throat> we don't have a hospital without talented nurses in this organization. You know that and I know that. What we've also seen, just as you said, is they are now major decision makers mm -hmm. at Emory Healthcare. And in fact, we have seen some nurses rise to the top and become leaders and executive leaders throughout all of Emory mm -hmm. Healthcare. In fact, some of them are running our hospitals in right. this system. Uh, is that typical? Emory's leading the way in this area. You know, one of the things I think that's it, it's very important is for healthcare systems to make decisions through the lens of their clinicians. And I think when those individuals are at decision-making tables, there's always this conscience that we have about what's best for the patient. Oh. I can't imagine making a major decision at the level of a hospital without this perspective. Exactly. We are here to deliver care mm -hmm. uh, at times where patients are vulnerable, mm -hmm. and uh, that perspective is invaluable. I want to just take one uh, quick tangent and ask about contract labor, which has challenged us, as you know, from an expense side. What you think about with contract labor, I think about the many days I thought, thank goodness we have adequate number of eyes and hands at the front line. No question. But now we're in a place of really reimagining what is our workforce going to value. I think, Ravi, we've got to make the work doable. <clears throat> right. And I think by making the work doable, I think we have to ask the people what they need, of no course, question. to begin there. And you and I have gone on rounds and oh, spoken yeah. to nurses, right, and asked them what are their needs, sure. And, and what they've told us when we did that is we need to make sure we have team members to do the work that they can do so that we can focus on the unique work of being a nurse. That's right. We also have to learn how to better use technology sure. in order to augment nursing care 
in making sure that we know how to use the systems and that the systems actually contribute to making us smarter about what patients need. Right. And then the third thing is we've got to anchor back to our own purpose yeah. so that we know why we're a nurse and that we know what we uniquely bring to that patient and do that every day. Yeah. Uh, Sharon, I'm so gratified you and your leaders have brought the voice of nurses from the ground up to the leadership table. And I'm most excited about the fact that we have nursing leaders across our system. I could not be more thankful for you to be part of Emory Healthcare, and I really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you, Sharon.